Katie Play Stuff. Hey, I'm Katie, and this is Katie Play Stuff, where I play stuff for you. Um, so I know I just made a video not that long ago, um, but since I talked about the Crooked Man, I really want to start playing it, and I have nothing else to do tonight because I don't have a life. So, same outfit, same hair, same day. I'm making another video, and let's start the Crooked Man. Okay, what a crazy title screen. Um, this is really, really sketchy. I haven't played this game before. I have seen pictures, obviously, so I've seen this picture. I've seen a couple others. Um, but I've never, like, looked up anything about it. I don't even know what the Crooked Man is, or why he's scary other than, other than the fact that he has a crooked neck. <laughs> but I'm excited to start playing, and let's get going. This game contains sudden surprises and harsh images. The weak of heart and those poor with horror should not play. The author takes no responsibility for any trouble that arises from playing this game. Trouble that arises? What, am I going to get haunted or something? There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. This music. He found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse. And they all lived together in a crooked little house. That sounds really familiar. Like a nursery rhyme or something. That's probably what it's based off of, not that I think about it. Paul. Whew. Finally, things look tidy in here. That should be that. Is there anything else we, else we can help you with, David? No, I'm fine. Sorry for making you guys help me move. And thanks for showing me the place, Paul. I'll have to pay you back sometime. Oh, nice. The three of us should go out drinking. I look forward to it already. I, I look forward to it all. Oh, I just read that again. Well, we better get going. Got it. Be careful, you two. Ooh, Marion's fashionable. She got those boots. Okay, so I guess... Oh. So we're already starting, and we don't even know what's going on. Uh, what are the controls to this? Okay. An old TV. Huh? Sheesh, Paul forgot his license. I should get get it to him if he's still around. I got Paul's license! Okay, so that's how you... My name is David Hoover. Uh, this is how you save... I got Paul's license. Some cigarettes? I'm a badass. A lighter, a cell phone. Exciting. Well, let's run this out to Paul before he gets away. You hear someone. What's with that place? Seriously. It's filthy. It's practically falling apart. What were you thinking? He wanted to move for a change of pace, and that will not help him, you hear. Look, what can I do? He's not the richest guy, you know. Can't even afford much, much furniture. Besides, you told me to look for the place, right? Don't be, co don't come complaining to me now. You're right. I'm sorry. I just wanted to help David out. I know. Look, I should be sorry. We'll visit some other time. The talking gets distant. Those bitches were talking about me. The license can wait, I guess. Better get to bed. One thing I don't like about games like this is, who says, better get to bed? Nobody talks like that! Unless you talk like that, whoever's watching, I'm so sorry. Okay, let's look around before we go to bed. Before we better get to bed. Not many clothes inside. An old computer. Looks pretty ancient. An empty trash. we got a bathroom. A washing machine. Where's the dryer? Wash basin. Don't want to go. Okay, David. Can't click the... A shower. Who knew? Already? I just got here! Hello? Who is this? Shirley? Who's 
Who's Shirley? I'll just call it a day. I should take it easy for my first for my first day in the new place. Oh, we got a box of tissues, empty trash can. What is this crack in the wall? Large crack in the wall. Should have known. Cupboards, refrigerator, a stove, a sink. What a nice little place we got here, David. Let's head off to bed. Better get to bed. Man, I'm tired. Simple enough. <laughs> really? Is that somebody crying? I can't sleep through this. Is it one of my neighbors? I should go complain. That sounds so sketchy. <laughs> We're gonna go complain to the neighbors about crying? That's like horrible. What if somebody's really upset? Okay, not that wrong. Yes? Who is it? At this hour? Pardon me, it's just- I can hear you from my room, even. It's making it hard to sleep. Would you stop? Huh? What are you saying? I was asleep until you woke me up. You trying to start something? You're the guy who moved into 205, right? There's no way you'd hear me from there. Uh, I guess so. So, sorry for waking you. Bye now. She's right. The rooms are pretty far apart. More importantly, it was a man's voice. Was it just my imagination? Whatever. I better get back to sleep. Better get there. Oh God. There's somebody in the bathroom. That is like my biggest fear. Bathrooms. I can barely take a shower without like freaking out every time. Yikes, the water. Is the faucet busted? Hmm? Under the bed. Under the bed? Is Paul trying to prank me? Talk about bad taste. He really thinks that someone's trying to prank him right now when there's nobody in his house except for him? Like, David is a dumb idiot. Under the bed, huh? What's down here? Hmm? Found something. Got a scrap from a notebook. Ever since she went away, I've spent every night clutching my sweaty pillow and writhing. I can't say goodbye. What other choice do I have? What's this? Did the former tenant leave this? Oh, whatever. I'll get to bed. How can he go to bed after someone just wrote on his mirror and then left a note under the bed and he's just gonna get to bed? <laughs> oh my god. That sound still, where is it coming from? Give me a break, I need to sleep. Oh my god. This is like, creepy. Hello? Uh, yeah, thanks for all the- No, no, I didn't mean, just, I'm busy with work, so- Yeah, so I'll come visit today. Tell her that for me. Okay, bye. Who am I visiting? Man, I slept into noon. I'd better go. So much for taking it easy. Where am I going? Paul, what is it? Yeah, yeah, uh, I forgot my license yesterday. Was it on the table? Oh, yeah, this? Sorry, I was going to bring it to you, but... Whew, thanks. So, you going somewhere? Obviously, I'm leaving the house. You out of the hospital. I see. Take care of yourself, buddy. Oh, yeah, Paul, did you write something on the bathroom mirror? Huh? Write on the mirror? What kind of childish brat do you take me for, David? 
S sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Anyway, I'm off. So, it wasn't Paul. We know that for sure. Now we're at the hospital, and I don't really know why. There's, like, actual voices in the background. Oh my gosh. I've never played a game like that. Who's this? Mom, it's been a while. Are you okay? Oh, that's so sad. Oh my. If it isn't my little Timmy, you've certainly grown. Good, you look healthy. Sorry, I can't see you very much. I've been busy with work. But I took a few days off, so I moved to this great room with furniture and everything. It's near your favorite cake shop, too. So, when you get better, we can live together. My, that's wonderful. Get along with Linda, will you? All that fighting you do worries me so. Maybe I can come visit you sometime. You like apple pie, don't you? I'll make the best I know how. Mom, I'm not Timmy. I'm your son David, remember? Oh, yes. They opened a bakery the other day. It smells so wonderful. Maybe I should buy from there. Mom? Oh, who would you be? Why are you here? How did you get in? This is my room. Do you have the wrong room? Are you? Say something, will you? M Ma. Get out! I'll have you thrown out! Somebody, somebody, there's a strange man in my room! Get rid of him now! Mrs. Hoover! Mrs. Hoover, don't strain yourself. Please, go back to sleep, okay? Who are you? Don't touch me! Get away! Now calm down, miss. Let's get you to bed. I'm sorry, David. Leave your mother to us. You'll have to leave for today. Understood. Take good care of her. Oh, this is so sad. Davy? Is that my Davy boy? Where are you going? Why are you leaving me? M mom Your flight school exams are coming up. You want to be a pilot, don't you? Your mother always has your back. Please don't leave me alone. I don't want to be alone here. Davy, please. Mom! It's me, remember, Mom? David, please leave. She's very confused right now. But, but, she said my... I said leave! <laughs> Mrs. Hooper, please calm down! Bring the Saturdays! That was scary. Ugh. Hello, David. Did you see your mother? Yeah, though I guess she still doesn't know me. Yes, she's forgotten many things, and she's having trouble controlling her emotions. I ask you to be patient. She may well get better, so you can live with her again. Thanks. I hope you can help her. Me too. Poor David. Lives all by himself. Don't even know how old he is. <laughs> What was that? What was it? Did I move that chair? Hmm. There's something in the drawer. Got a leaflet for a school. Looks pretty old. Hmm. These LLM courses are circled. Was somebody shooting to be a lawyer? I guess this must be the former tenants. He sure forgot a bunch of stuff. Maybe no furniture is better after all, huh? Okay, that chair moved by itself. Like, obviously he didn't do it. I never get any peace and quiet! When does he eat? Hello? Hey David, how are you doing? Ha! You saw me yesterday! I'm doing fine, thanks. Good, good. Call if you're ever lonely, okay? Ooh, Marion! By the way, I got a call from Shirley yesterday. We didn't really talk, but... 
Sorry, I told you her- I told her your number. She said she was so worried about you. It's okay. Tell her I don't need her worry. She should just look out for herself. Sounds like an ex-girlfriend. Alright. Well, I'll hang up now. Who says that? Alright, see you. I'll hang up now. Heats! Heats! Oh, he's reading. <laughs> I'm tired of reading. I should go to bed. Of course you should, David. Of course you should. What is that? Is that the TV? Why did it turn on by itself? Is it broken? If there's a jump scare, I'm gonna flip. Sink. Gah! What? What? This is creepy. Sink? Did it say sink? What was that? What, in the bathroom again? No. Oh, there's a sink in here. Hmm, there's a scrap of paper under here. There was a crooked man, and he walked a crooked mile. He bought a crooked sixpence against a crooked style. He bought a crooked cat, which caught a crooked mouse, and they all lived together in a little crooked house. Isn't this a mother goose rhyme? Why is this here under the sink? I guess the previous tenant? This is so strange. I should sleep and forget about it. That's like his go-to answer for everything. I should go to bed now. Good night. Moving for a change of pace, huh? Guess that's not working so well. I appreciate Paul and Marion's help, but... Is that a kid I hear? What kid would live in these beat-up apartments? Heck, maybe they're lost. I should go check. David, you need to stop checking things. You need to stop getting out of your room. Like, what am I looking for now? A kid? Of course there's no kids here. Must be getting tired. Is that my house? My cup! Just a broken cup. Jeez, that startled me. W wait, what? Is that poop? Just kidding. Looks like poop. I'm not kidding. It looks like poop. The coffee says, you, you gotta be... This room is really, really strange. With its voices and TVs turning on. What is this? Uh, hi, Paul. It's David. Yeah, what's up? Man, you sound sleepy. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, um, was up all last night. I gotta ask you something. Is now okay? Yeah, what? Do you know who used to live in this room? Nah, I don't know. You asked the landlady? You curious about something? Well, seems like you forgot a lot of stuff, but I'll ask the landlady. Sure. Later. The landlady's on the far end of the first floor. I'll go see what she knows. Okay. Far end must be... Hello. Oh, it's Mr. David. What seems to be the matter? Good day, miss. I just wanted to ask you something. You see... About the room I'm in, can you tell me anything about the person who used to live there? Hmm, well, you know, these apartments always have people coming and going. Now, what was that boy's name? I believe he was a man about your age. He suddenly left about a month ago, said to leave the furniture and use it however. You wouldn't know where he went. I never heard that, no. Really just up and left out of the blue. Ah, <sighs> I just can't remember that name. I could rummage through my documents to find the previous tenants, if you'd like. 
No, there's no need. I was just a little curious. Thanks. I'll see you around. Alrighty. Sorry I wasn't very useful. A man about my age. I can only wonder. Oh well. I'll get back to my room. Better get back to my room. To my haunted ass room. Nope. 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 There was somebody in there! What is this? I don't even want to go in there. I don't even want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. <sighs> okay. I knew something was up with that crack. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. There's a man in my crack. There's a man in my wall. What? Why are these tracks on the floor? They lead up to this wall. Is there something in this crack? Got a brass key in the crack of the wall. This key, it's pretty fancy. I doubt it's for anything in here, so I wonder where. Hmm. He's not even gonna mop up the floor. The guy's voice, the kids' voices, the mirror writing, the TV turning on, the coffee. Ha, huh, it's like a poltergeist or something. But I would have thought the landlady would mention this kind of thing. What's going on here? Not that I'd care if there were ghosts here. I wouldn't care. I wouldn't much care if they haunted me and killed me either. Well, David's a little depressing. But I wonder about that scrap of paper. What was the man who lived here like? Did this stuff happen when he was here? Not much use thinking about it. I'll call it a day. Back to bed. Is that the TV? What? Why? Where's that coming from? Is it from inside the house? So, what, it's not the TV? I don't remember having a radio. I don't... Aha! It came from in here! Radio? What? Why is this in my closet? Not to mention turning on by itself. Hmm. There's something on this paper here. It's an address? Our special place. Where's that supposed to be? Got a paper with an address. How is he okay with the radio just turning on? And he's like, oh, the radio's on in this creepy closet and I'm okay. before you get out of there. So, you sleep well last night? Sorry you had to sleep on the couch. Nah, I should be sorry for coming over so late. Ha, huh, I wasn't expecting it, but don't sweat it. But hey, did something happen? You don't look so hot. Oh, there's no particular reason. Or maybe I felt like intruding into my newlyweds, into the newlyweds love nest. Hey, why you? Ha ha ha, just kidding. Why don't you tell Paul what happened? Seriously, though, you can tell me if anything happens, okay? I'll do whatever I can for you. Alright. <laughs> I'm glad you have- I'm glad to have a buddy who looks out for his friends. Hey, are you making fun of me? Oh yeah, I heard from Marion. Sorry about the Shirley thing. I told her off for that. Don't worry about it, it's not Marion's fault. Well, it's not about whose fault it is, I'm just not happy about it. Don't let it get you down, alright? I know you got your mother to look after, but I think it's time you move on and look for new people. As if a guy like me could find a date. I'm just some clerk with a mom in the hospital, and the girl I wanted to marry ran from me. Man, don't be such a sissy. You keep up with that moping, and you'll have your own personal rain cloud. Huh. <laughs> well, I'll be careful. 
Oh, I'm going to go on a little trip. Don't want to waste my vacation, you know. Oh, great idea. Where are you going? Just somewhere I was wondering about. I'll call you when I get there. Sweet. Send a postcard. Breakfast ready, Paul. David, will you be eating too? No, I'm not hungry. I'll be going. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Come on, bye. Anytime you like. Oops, wrong voice. <laughs> There. Looks like the address is in the mountains. About a five-hour drive. Did the former tenant go here? I just want to ask him about this room. Maybe he'll know something. Hell, I'll go right now. I can't stay in this place anyway. Prologue. David's room. End. So, we are going on a five-hour trip to some random address that could be anything. It could be the former tenant's grandma's house. It could be anybody. It could be anything. And we're just going to drive five hours to this random place. That is just nuts. Um, so far, I'm really enjoying the game. I think the story is just really interesting. Um... And it's really spooky, so I'm excited to play this, and I hope that everybody else enjoys it too. So thanks for watching, and bye!